Welcome back viewers, my name is Christian Obodo. In this video, we are going to focus on measuration. If that is what you are interested to learn, kindly subscribe to this channel, like and share this video, and also turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified when I post a new video. Solid Shapes A solid figure is a shape whose sectional body cannot be wholly shown on a plane or flat surface. There are many of them and they include cube, cuboid, cylinder, sphere, cone, pyramid and prism. We are starting with the first one, cube. A cube has six faces of equal dimension. This means that it has length, breadth and height, all of which are equal to each other, as you can see in the diagram below. Now the formulas we need to know are the surface area, the length of diagonal, and the volume of a cube as shown below. So example one, a cube has a length of five centimeter. Calculate one, volume, I, I length of diagonal, and surface area. Now we're going to see the solution here. The first one we're calculating is surface area and the formula is 6x squared. The x there is the length. So that gives us 6 times 5 squared. 6 times 25 and that will give us 150 centimeter square. The second one is the length of diagonal. The length of diagonal from the formula is x into bracket root 3. Then the 5 times root 3, and that will give us 8.7 centimeter. Now let's look at the volume. The formula for volume of a cube is equal to x cube. Remember x is the length. So 5 raised to power 3, that gives us 125 centimeter cube. The next one is the cuboid. A cuboid is a solid with a rectangular base and sides. It has six rectangular faces. If all sides are closed, the diagram, you can see it below. The formulas that we need to know, the surface area, the length of diagonal, and the volume. All these formulas are very important. We understand them. A cuboid has a length 13 cm, width 9 cm, and height 8 cm. Calculate its surface area, length of diagonal, and volume. The first one, surface area. And the formula for surface area is equal to 2 into bracket xy plus xz plus yz. Then x is equal to 9, y is equal to 13, and z is equal to 8. 2 into bracket 9 times 13, and that will give us 117. That's what you can see there. Then 9 times 8, that will give us 72. And 13 times 8, 104. Everything in bracket. So 2 into bracket. When we add everything, it will give us 293. You multiply it by 2. Your answer will be 586 centimeters square. Then the second one, length of diagonal. That's what we are solving for now. And the formula is equals to square root of x square plus y square plus z square. And we know the value of x, y, and z from the question equals to square root of 9 square plus 13 square plus 8 square. And when we solve everything to give us square root of 81 plus 169 plus 64 is equals to square root 
when we add up all these that will give us 314 and you look for the square root and the square root is equal to 17.72 centimeter the c we are serving for is the volume of a cuboid equals to base area times height equals to x y z is equals to 9 times 13 times 8 then when we multiply it that will give us 936 centimeter cube cylinder a cylinder is a prism whose cross section is a circle example is a milk tin as you can see in the diagram below curved surface area is equal to 2 pi r h total surface area is equal to area of all faces when both tops are closed the formula is 2 pi r into bracket r plus h when one top is open the formula is pi r into bracket r plus 2 h y volume is pi r square h now let's see example in this example we are asked to calculate the total surface area curved surface area and the volume a total surface area remember our formula here we are going to use the formula for calculating total surface area when both tops are closed and the formula is equals to 2 pi r into bracket r plus h take note of that so from the question our radius is given and our height is equally given so using the formula now you can see it 2 times 22 over 7 times 6 then into bracket 6 plus 17 our radius is 6 while our height is 17 when you multiply everything that will give you 264 times 23 over 7 and our final answer is equals to 6072 over 7 when you use your calculator and divide that you get 867.43 centimeter square the unit is very important the next one we're also going to now calculate total surface area when one top is closed remember the formula equals to pi r into bracket r plus 2h just take note of the formula so we're going to 22 over 7 times 6 into bracket 6 plus 2 multiplied by the height which is 17. so when we do that we're going to get 132 times 40 over 7 and our final answer is we give us 5 2 eight zero over seven when you use your calculator that will give you seven hundred and fifty four point three centimeter square then the next thing we are going to calculate for is the curved surface area curved surface area as we know the formula is two pi r h the same radius which is six and our height is seventeen so we impute the values and that will give us 641.1 centimeter square the last which is the volume volume of a cylinder is equals to by r square h take note of that 
our pi is 22 over 7. The radius is 6. That will give us 6 square now based on the formula. Then times the height equals to 1923.4 centimeter cube. Thank you for watching.